honestly, I'm not sure whether I'm more excited about new camera gear or new Shelly devices that have been sent to me. Links to both in the description of this video. Hey guys, it's not the first time I'm talking about Shelly devices. In the past I've covered a couple of them and I'm gonna link them in the corner so you could take a look and since then they found different uses uh, in my house. But for the last couple of weeks Shelly Plus series has been on my windowsill patiently waiting for me to find the time and take a closer look at it. And oh boy, I did not expect so many changes coming in the Plus series. So you might be interested as well, especially if you're into DIY home automation. If you take a look at Shelly website, you will quickly notice claims about faster CPU, better connectivity and Bluetooth. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out those are the traits of ESP32. Previously, the Shelly first generation devices were using ESP8266, but now all the Plus series is actually using ESP32, which is a much welcome change because it changes the way you interact with the devices itself and introduces a lot of interesting functions. Thanks to the introduction of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi running in client and AP mode at the same time, you are able to go through pairing and adding your devices to Shelly Cloud honestly within less than a minute. The process is speedy, works every time and is super simple. And if you are not a big fan of the cloud, you can stop it before you actually add the device to the cloud, which is handy if you just want to connect the device to your local network and control it via web interface, which comes as obviously a standard on Shelly devices. Nice touch. But it's not just a hardware bump. If you open the Shelly app, you'll notice a lot of UI changes. Now, the interface is still, for the most part, looks very similar. However, it's less cluttered, better organized, and all the settings are kind of more accessible in my opinion, so I like that very unique and specific design of Shelly and give it a go if you haven't tried it. But what's most important in the Plus series are the new features. In my past video, Shelly vs Sonoff, I've outlined a couple of things that I would like Shelly to change in order to make a better competing product. And it seems that they kind of took some of that on board because we have really super cool exciting features I'm going to talk about. First, for the first time you can run MQTT alongside the cloud. Previously you would have to either select MQTT and connect that to your home assistant, Node-RED or whatnot you're gonna use with it, and well, you're gonna give up the cloud. But now with the Plus series you can take advantage of MQTT connectivity and retain the device in Shelly Cloud just as a backup. And, I mean, who doesn't like backup, right? And that's not all. We still have a REST API to play, we have increased number of web hooks that work on triggers so you can connect and notify other devices, third party devices, about the changes in a Shelly ecosystem, which is very handy, and a couple of other options you can take advantage of. It is a much welcome change because if you're going to use Shelly devices, you can forget about Tasmotizing. I mean, Tasmota was available for Shelly devices and Fans of not using cloud probably wouldn't even have to do it since the REST API and MQTT were available without cloud. But now, the process is even more simple if you're using Home Assistant and Node-RED. You can just select MQTT and start working with Shelly. But enough about software, let's talk about the new devices. In Shelly Plus uh, lineup, there are four and a half devices that uh, you can actually obtain right now. So. Uh, what you can get is Shelly One Plus, which is a direct kind of replacement for Shelly One. You also have Shelly One PM Plus, same. Uh, there is a Shelly Two PM, Shelly I Four, and Shelly WS. WS stands for Wall Switch. We're gonna talk about the, all of those in detail. So let's start with the first candidate, which is straight up upgrade from Shelly One. By the way, Shelly One video in here. While Shelly One is available as live and neutral and no neutral versions, uh, Shelly One Plus, it's uh, basically the same take as Shelly One. It comes with a detached or dry relay, which you can pretty much connect wherever you want, and you'll be able to control that relay. Now, it has ESP32 inside, so it connects to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth if you want, you can run it in a network only mode and you have that web interface to connect to it if you desire. 
one of the things that has changed is the input power. Now it's more flexible, so you can use DC from 12 to 24 volts or AC from 110 to 240 volts. You can still drive up to 16 amps of power through the relay and obviously you still have all the functionality that came with the original Shelly 1. As a bonus, you have a smaller form factor, uh, going away from more rounded device to those more square uh, shapes uh, that's going to be pronounced throughout the entire Shelly Plus series. And, well, there is a one complaint I have to make. Just as before, for some reason, Shelly 1 Plus still doesn't have enough terminals and you'll have to use one of those Wago connectors for neutral, which is annoying, especially that it looks like they have the space for extra terminal in here, so I don't know why they didn't take advantage of that. I mean, the number of terminals, it's totally okay if you're going to use it in a dry configuration, dry relay configuration, but if you want to also supply the power via this relay, you could use extra terminal. So, well, maybe it's going to be another version of this. Next up is the step up. We have Shelly 1 PM. Plus. And PM stands for Power Monitor. And I've actually used the first Shelly 1 PM with my 3D printer. Uh, check out this video, it will show you how to uh, use that uh, relay to enable remote power control over your uh, 3D printer and include the power measurements into your total cost of the print, which is very handy. But anyway, back to the Shelly 1 PM Plus. Uh, as before, it's a hybrid between a Shelly 1PM and Shelly Plus series. So what you get are exactly the same features as on the Shelly 1PM, plus additional protection in, uh, including over-voltage and over-current protection, uh, there's a temperature protection to make sure that doesn't melt on itself, but the device still connects to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi because it uses uh, ESP32 inside and you have the ability to connect everything in it. This is the interesting bit. It has enough terminals to cover all the scenarios and by looking at it I don't know why they didn't apply that logic to the previous one just so you could have choices but we have finally enough terminals on this one. I'm super happy. In the same manner as before you'll be able to connect uh, DC from 12 to 24 volts and uh, drive the power through the switch because it's not a dry relay contact or you can use mains from 110 volts to 240. And since it's a plus series, you can access the power metering data either via app or send it over MQTT or REST API and use it in your home automation setting. As a bonus, you can tie webhooks up to 20 of them with power settings, which means you can trigger other devices based on the power and meter numbers coming from Shelly 1PM+. It's really cool. New in this lineup is Shelly 2 PM. That's bright. As you can see, I'm already spoiling uh, the WS series, so let's talk about uh, 2 PM first. Now, as the name suggests, it has PM in it, so it is uh, compatible with power metering. It will give you information about the power consumption on both channels. This is where the 2 stands for. 2 means you will be able to either connect two separate channels or control a blind or motor blind controller instead or similar load. Now the relays are rated at 16 amps, but you should be really driving this at 10 amps per channel with peak current of 18 amps. That should cover you well for inductive load. And just like the previous Shelly 1PM Plus, it comes with over voltage, over current protection and a temperature protection to keep your relay safe. It connects to 2.4 GHz Wi Fi, uses ESP32, so you can take advantage of AP point, client mode, and Bluetooth, and also the extra connectivity, including MQTT API. You get the idea. But one of my complaints stands, which is uh, not enough terminals, which means you'll still have to use the Wago terminals to connect everything because it only has one neutral input, and that's uh, most likely the one that you need to share with other wires. And just like the other switches in this series, it can be powered by DC or AC from 110 to 240. Excellent. It feeds the power through because it's a power meter. So bear that in mind when connecting. When I've connected mine, one of the things that got me puzzled for a second was the fact that uh, suddenly I got two Shelly 2PM Plus in my ecosystem, which got me thinking, did I just receive the second one and I've connected one of them somewhere? No it shows up as two separate devices for each channel. So bear that in mind, especially if you want to configure the right channel. Uh, as if you click 
through the wrong one you'll be configuring, the relay you don't want to configure, and then you're gonna scratch yourself thinking like, why this isn't working? And while the subject of plus series, it's the WS time, which is this switch that you can see right now. And actually, it's not a bad idea. In principle, it's just a switch with two push buttons, but it comes with a faceplate, which makes it look nice, and a dedicated plastic bracket that allows you to fit the Shelly inside, which means it will take so much less space than the typical installation where you're going to reuse the existing switch. And as the device isn't too expensive, it's actually a viable solution for someone that is pressed for space in that wall switch cubby. So while the installation is going to be that easy, what's slightly disappointing is the fact that this wall switch doesn't come with LEDs. So there is no indicator light status and it would be so much nicer if you had two small LEDs to actually illuminate the individual channels and let you know what are the states of those channels, especially if you could control the color. WS series will come in white and black colors and in configuration for one, two and four relays. And all those configuration comes with a tailored bracket for each Shelly device. So when you're using two Gang Shelly, it's gonna have all the brackets that you need to add a Shelly and keep it low profile. There is a one more device in the Plus series which I don't have in hand, and this is Shelly i4. But this isn't a relay, it's basically a glorified online switch for four buttons. It means that you can connect up to four gangs into that relay and execute action elsewhere. Whether you're gonna use a Shelly ecosystem and cloud or MQTT or webhooks, it's down to you. But this device doesn't come with any relays, it just acts as a switch. And I know a lot of you is gonna be wondering like, do I really need this? Whether I should really buy maybe a Zigbee button instead? And you'll be probably right, but it's an option and it's always good to have option. It is clear to me that Shelly took time in addressing the feedback from DIY uh, automation enthusiasts and implemented a lot of features that have been very often asked for in that communities. Now having a switch that you don't have to flash to take advantage of it locally and connect it to Node Red or Home Assistant is beneficial for everyone, especially if you can run it in that configuration alongside the cloud without pretty much any modifications. Unfortunately, you will pay extra for it. Not too much though, because these switches are still priced under 20 euros, depending on which switch you're gonna take. So it's not a bad price to pay for a ready solution for your, well, DIY home automation. So if you do value your time, you might want to spend extra to get that functionality out of the box instead of buying some of products and spending time flashing it. Something that probably a lot of you on a budget would do instead. I would like to thank Shelly for sending me those products and this is not everything that we're gonna see from Shelly in 2022. I already have Shelly TRV in my hands and the review is pending so you're gonna see that very soon. Alongside another device which is Shelly 4PM which is the rail montable device. Something I'm going to cover sooner or later and maybe if I have enough time I'll also cover this big box which is Shelly 3EM which been on my shelf for ages because I can't really open my main box and mount it properly so kind of can't give you a proper opinion on that. But anyway, if any of the products really piqued your attention then in the description of the video you're gonna see a link to the article with more details and links to the individual products where you can take a look at on the website and buy it for yourself. As for now guys, do let me know what you think about the new Shelly Plus series and if it's worth your time. And if you are sending any links in a YouTube comments video, bear in mind that those get filtered and I don't have access to it. So use a social media instead if you have any cool, cool links to share with me. And yeah, I'll catch you in there. As for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next video. Take care. Bye.